Google's new artificial intelligence AI search feature is facing criticism for providing erratic, inaccurate answers. Its experimental AI overviews tool has told some users searching for how to make cheese stick to pizza better that they could use non-toxic glue. The search engine's AI-generated responses have also said geologists recommend humans eat one rock per day. A Google spokesperson told the BBC they were isolated examples. Some of the answers appeared to be based on Reddit comments or articles written by satirical site, The Onion. They have been widely mocked on social media, but Google insisted the feature was generally working well. The examples we've seen are generally very uncommon queries and aren't representative of most people's experiences, it said in a statement. The vast majority of AI overviews provide high-quality information with links to dig deeper on the web. It said it had taken action where policy violations were identified and was using them to refine its systems. It is not the first time the company has run into problems with its AI-powered products. In February, it was forced to pause its chatbot Gemini, which was criticized for its woke responses. Gemini's forerunner, Bard, also got off to a disastrous start. Google's new AI can find lost specs. What is AI and how does it work? Google began trialing AI overviews and search results for a small number of logged-in UK users in April, but launched the feature to all US users at its annual developer showcase in mid-May. It works by using AI to provide a summary of search results, so users do not have to scroll through a long list of websites to find the information they are seeking. It is billed as a product that can take the legwork out of searching, though users are warned it is experimental. However, it is likely to be widely used and trusted because Google Search remains the go-to search engine for many. According to Web Traffic Tracker, StatCounter, Google's search engine accounts for more than 90% of the global market. Google is far from the only tech facing a backlash over its attempts to cram more AI tools into their consumer-facing products. The UK's data watchdog is looking into Microsoft after it announced a feature coming to its new range of AI-focused PCs that would take continuous screenshots of their online activity and ChatGPT maker OpenAI was called out by Hollywood actress Scarlett Johansson for using a voice likened to her own, saying she turned down its request to voice the popular chatbot. Scarlett Johansson's AI row has echoes of Silicon Valley's bad old days. Google to make Pixel phones and drones in India. UK watchdog looking into Microsoft AI taking screenshots. Venel's told she is in La La Land, as post office convictions to be overturned. Starmer launches Scottish campaign as Sunak visits Northern Ireland. Watch as BBC reaches a hidden wars jungle frontline. Young people leaving lives behind for secret jungle missions. Inside the secret government Rwanda training base. Surgeon left a specimen bag inside me after hernia op. Weekly quiz. What North Korean song was banned after going viral? How important is Scotland in deciding the UK election? Election poll tracker. How do the parties compare? What do China's drills around Taiwan tell us? Bank holiday weather, rain or shine? TikTok train spotter Francis Bourgeois, passion is cool. Understanding compassion and vulnerability. Rapper Rex Life Raj discovers the power of compassion in every area of his life. The road to becoming Furiosa. How Anya Taylor-Joy geared for the role of Furiosa in George Miller's spectacular Mad Max prequel. Laugh through the recent history of technology. Stand-up comedian Ori Styla charts his personal relationship with machines of past, present, and future. There was an energy here that brought something out in me. The definitive story of Tina Turner's 50-year relationship with Britain in her own words. Is the party in Ibiza nearly over? Dive into Coldplay's remarkable career. A police officer under extreme pressure. Extraordinary, life-changing stories. Imagine this. You've carved out an evening to unwind and decide to make a homemade pizza. You assemble your pie, throw it in the oven, and are excited to start eating. But once you get ready to take a bite of your oily creation, you run into a problem. The cheese falls right off. Frustrated, you turn to Google for a solution. Add some glue, Google answers. Mix about 1 8 cup of Elmer's glue in with the sauce. Non-toxic glue will work. So, yeah, don't do that. As of writing this, though, that's what Google's new AI overviews feature will tell you to do. The feature, while not triggered for every query, scans the web and drums up an AI-generated response. 
The answer received for the pizza glue query appears to be based on a comment from a user named Fucksmith in a more than decade old Reddit thread, and they're clearly joking. This is just one of many mistakes cropping up in the new feature that Google rolled out broadly this month. It also claims that former U.S. President James Madison graduated from the University of Wisconsin not once but 21 times, that a dog has played in the NBA, NFL, and NHL, and that Batman is a cop. Google spokesperson Megan Farnsworth said the mistakes came from generally very uncommon queries and aren't representative of most people's experiences. The company has taken action against violations of its policies, she said, and are using these isolated examples to continue to refine the product. Look, Google didn't promise this would be perfect, and it even slaps a generative AI is experimental label at the bottom of the AI answers. But it's clear these tools aren't ready to accurately provide information at scale. Take Google I slash O's big launch of this feature, for instance. The demo was highly controlled, and yet, it delivered a questionable answer about how to fix a jammed film camera. It suggested they open the back door and gently remove the film. Don't do that unless you want to ruin your photos. These companies claim that they can't predict what this AI will spit out. So really, it's out of their control. But for users, that's a problem. Last year, Google said that AI was the future of search. What's the point, though, if the search seems dumber than before? AI optimists argue that we should embrace the hype because of the rapid progress made so far, trusting that it will continue to improve. I really do believe that this technology will continue to get better, but focusing on an idealized future where these technologies are flawless ignores the significant issues they currently face and allows companies to continue delivering subpar product.